people already in. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. It's um, Looney Lou. That's a piece I did. I'm hoping to do something like that on Sunday as well to show people what they can do. Colour and layers. Um, hopefully, you can have it that way or that way, which I think looks quite nice as a, uh, as a nice little, what's it called? A nice little sort of three-dimensional piece. So good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're well. It's my first time since my ODS. So it seems to be doing really bad out there. I don't know about you, but I'll, um, I'll have to excuse me because if I sound a bit funny, it's because I'm using the, cam, the, cam card, uh, the camera, the camcorder camera. And what happens is it, it's got its mic isn't that good, so I'm trying to be a bit quiet because it sounds like I'm sh shrieking. So I usually use it on the computer, but I forgot to do it, and I don't want to close it all down and start again and close it all down. So I thought, right, okay, what I won't do is do that. I'll just, um, I'll just try and be quieter, which don't really work with me. Mm, no, it don't. It don't work. I've tried. I've tried. So anyway, um, good, good, good. Just you have to forgive me a minute while I'm, I, there's all these blooming buttons and things you've got to click. It's like I know I'm not because I'm not using my phone. It's a lot different now. Now, right, just to explain a few little bits. What happened is last night, this morning. We've, I, we've got terrible wind, and I mean gales, as in not as in the other sort of wind, and um, it ripped off my shed roof. So um, we've got quite a lot of damage here. Uh, Mark managed to put the tarp in. It's not tarp. That's American, isn't it? It's well, it is Mark, but it's not. It's not tarpaulin. It's oil cloth, is it? That roofing felt, roofing felt. He managed to put it back on this morning and before work, and we went out there in. Um, well, I, I, I was told to get in because I was neither use nor ornament, so told me to get in, which is fair enough. I was there in a big pair of wedges and my pyjamas didn't, one, it didn't look too good, and two, I couldn't have got up a ladder if I tried. So he said, get, get lost, sling your hook. So I slung my hook inside, great. So I stood, you know, not dictating, um, directing from the door. And I knew by his, his um, hand gestures, he didn't want me to carry on doing that. So I stopped directing from the door for a while, just watched him through the crack in the curtain. And he was very good because as one side's getting, it's sort of like you can't get to the back of the shed. So as one side's being flipped over, the other side's being flipped off. So he's there. He, I tell you what, what you can do with a brush and a bit of stick, uh, and a stick is nobody's business. He looked like... At a bit of it, what is it, Billy Finky Circus? He was like juggling all sorts. Anyway, he did it. He did it. He did it. So we've got wood all over the shed holding it in. But I just seen it sort of move a bit. But I'm hoping it was just my eyesight and not the nails coming out. So that's been my day. So why am I telling you all that rubbish? Because you don't need to know that, do you really? However, if that if my broadcast, oh that sounds good, doesn't it? If my broadcast. Oh, it's going so well. If my broadcast is interrupted, then it could be down to um, supernatural forces. 
by your mother nature and the wind might be whipping something off or the connection to something the virgin round here it had an outage yesterday and uh it, i was on doing one of my um, shows as well it's quite um funny because apparently i stopped i i it just all went blank which is i think it's a nice idea for some people myself right okay well i'm thinking I did not long ago, um, not long ago, I did um, a, a sort of mosaic thing, and I don't know where it is, it's somewhere safe, and I thought, well, I really liked the idea of sort of, rather than doing one big one, doing big and uh, little ones, so I thought, I'm just going to see how big this is, it's nine, 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 so... 3, 6, 9, 12. How, how many of them will I get? How big is this ruler? Right, okay, so it's about 18, save a millimetre or two, so 9, 5 so for 9, 4 and a half, isn't it? 4 and a half. How big is 4 and a half? 4 and a half's a good size, is it? Or is that too small? 4 and a half, we'll go 4 and a half. I've got to fight myself then, I move so fast. Right, four and a half. So, I'm do oh, what, am I do what am I doing this for? Right, just to go on to show you now. Oh, I tell you what, I'm not, I'm not used to the bright lights. And my eyes are going a bit dicky. I don't know if that's a word that you know. But dicky means going a bit iffy. Right, so, I do love this ruler. I'm pants at using other rulers, but the one thing I need to never do is use this side with a knife because I'm an idiot. What you need to do is use the other side with a knife because it's got a big steel ledge on it, look. Plunker. That's what I am. Idiot. Idiot. Now that I'm cutting this down, what I'm going to do is just hopefully... Oh, for crying out loud, get lost. The knobbles on that thing, it's stopping me. Right, I'm just going to see how big it is, right? I'm hoping it's about the same. Oh, I, it is square. I know that sounds daft, but sometimes they're not square. Well, it will be, you silly sod, because that's the same size. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, just calm down. Eight and a half. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, look at that. Anybody, anybody would have thought I planned it. So I'm going for four and a half and then let the edges be bigger. Because then what you don't end up with is... What happens is when I do this normally is I start off well at one end and by the time I get to the other end it's all peat tongue so can't be bothered. So I'm doing it from middle and that's why I like these rulers because it's got a knot in the middle. But you can go from all the way up if you want. But if you want to go from middle out, you can sort of do it better that way by doing it this way. So I'm just making. Oh, it's a bit out. Never mind. My back is killing me. I don't want to take any more painkillers because it doesn't work. It just does not work. 4, 8, 12, 16 squares. You don't need 16. You can have as little or as many as you want. You could div divide this into four. You could divide it into, you know, uh, sections like four in the middle, one each end. You know, you can make patterns whatever you wish out of this. So this is absolutely up to you. I've not said hello to people. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, every single person. And we've got Jane and Candet and Marcia. Um, we've got Jackie, Thelma, Elaine, Marie, um, another Jackie, Philippa, Gloria, um, Linda, Dawn, thank you Emma for my post this morning, and Denise, thank you for my beautiful card, hi Glynis, Thelma, um, another Dawn, hi Jan, hi Janet, Susan, Karen, Emma, Louise, Sally, Liz, K, 
Kim and other Louise, Sue. Hundreds of you. <laughs> well, not hundreds of six, Steph. I think. Oh, I've clicked on that now. Well, it's gone down now. Anyway, gone up, down, up, down, shake it all about. It's at Marcy's birthday, so if you want to go and wish her happy birthday and put it on the big, the big, um, hi Sylvia, and put it on the big group so we can all wish her a very nice birthday because she is good to the group. She is very good. So what I thought I'd do is this time is do whether I could do, like normally we draw one big picture and then divide it up. What I thought we could do with this is do little mini versions and then, you know, then each one can be, you can use it as an individual tile or you can use it as a multi, multi uh, pulse. See? So I could do one image in that, cut it up and then jigsaw it. So treat it like that. I mean, it's, it's, you know, you can do all sorts with this. So when you're ready, if you want to follow, make sure you've got the squares you need, a pencil, a paper ruler, eraser and a pen and jobs are good in and we'll get going. Right, okay, so you look at the patterns that you like within whatever you've got um, and you think, right, okay, which what patterns do I actually like? Is there certain patterns that draw me more than others? Is Do I like circles? Do I like squares? And these are the things that you can sort of pull on when you do your work. You can sort of make them as intricate or as sort of simplistic as you wish. The, the, the thing is, though, you've just got to enjoy it. And I'm finding that I need to really enjoy what I'm doing at the moment because I'm just getting fed up with... Well, you get fed up with the same old, same old, don't you? So we need to not reinvent it, but we need to shake it up a bit. So if it means that we've got to draw different shapes within here, then we'll go for it. So the first one I'm just going to go for is I'm going to draw a circle and maybe three circles like that. OK, so I've got three circles. So then I'm going to put on a... diamond shape but with rounded edges so like that now what I'm doing for is aiming for the middle of the page and just roaming round I'm doing it in threes because it'll fit nicely into the shape we've got so the next is I'm just going to do really simple like that okay then what we can do, I mean, with those circles are well dodgy, but, you know, don't be frightened of using squares. I don't tend to use them a lot. And, I, you know, and sometimes that's like, well, I'm missing out here, aren't I? So, one, two, three, four, five. That's not right. Oh, it is, it is. Hey. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Oh, it'll be fours, won't it? Oh well. One, two, three. So favourite shapes. I'll do some more. So I'll do another circle. Circles are good. So I've got one, two, three. Okay. Diamonds. Well, no, that's not a diamond. Oh, you. Banana. Hello, Shaz. Hi, Jane. Hi, Val. Um, okay, so we've got circles of which we've got different sizes and different, you know, uh, we've got a diamond. Well, I don't know what colour. It. it is a sort of diamond, isn't it? But I've rounded the edges because I want it to be really quite nice and freehand today. Even the triangular ones, what you can do is just round it so it's not so, you know, angular. You can round the edges of the squares if you wish. It's entirely up to you. I want to keep some angular because they will fit better with the, the squares then and stuff. You know, I don't want to go too... 
off so in the center of these i'm just going to draw a square so a square into the circles there's the other one uh, and it's over the top of the circles doesn't matter if it's not in under that's over in in yeah it doesn't matter if you wish you can put one in the middle there for one so don't worry about that so here i quite like the idea of just having a, a circle in the diamondy ones smaller one there so what we've got left is, let's think now, that's too near there, that's too near there. What we could do is just bring, not on all of them though, because I don't want a square, a triangle in them all. I'm quite happy to have some. See here, so I need to break that up so no, that's too much like that, so I'm going to put a circle there. No, that's too near there. Oh, for crying out loud. So let's look. So I've got two triangles here. Let's make another shape. No. Maybe. But you can change it anyway. You can just whatever you choose to do so i'm going to be really simple with these it's going to be more about me enjoying this rather than taking all day to draw and i am having a day off after this well it can hardly call it having a day off i've just done all my paper well done some paperwork i've arranged for deliveries do do do's and Oh, it, I, haven't got, I haven't got a printer at the moment. I've got a printer, but I haven't got the scan. I've got the scanner working, but I haven't got the um, any ink. So at the moment, I can print. No, I can scan, but I can't print. So I can't do much. It's a case of me um, having to wait for Mark to bring anything home, and then it, it's it's just a bit of a pain. And I'm honest with you. When I went to have a look and I thought, this is ridiculous, I need some ink for my printer. But it's cheaper to buy a new printer than it is the ink. And I find, I think that is atrocious. I really do, because I think, well, what's the point, people? You know, recycling, if, you, if, you, if it's cheaper to buy a new printer. I just find that ridiculous. Right, okay, so I don't know whether we're going to have a good reception or not today. So I'm, I'm praying that it goes okay, but I'm not too sure. So here, um, I've done circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, or whatever. Here I'm doing my lumps, or whatever you want to call them. So I've got a random set of patterns. These you could use as your little um, patterns book or inspiration my tiles. Oh, does it? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it catches up. But no, I hope everything's all right Dawn you know lots of people here care so I'm not doing knots and crosses because it'd be too easy to do that but what I am going to do is just put uh, a few of the shapes I've got in the others so that's one square um, and then these are just simple patterns that they're not zentangles because i've never seen zentangles like this and if there is i've not done it 
um, intentionally. It's very unintentionally. But I like this circular shape that's gone in here. I've got some of the shapes that I normally do, and then each pattern can change accordingly. You know, the first thing I do is like I look at this and I think, oh, I could do that there, I could do that. But I do like this element of um, these here. So that first one is I'm going to use it again in other parts, especially around here. So if, if I mean by going. You're sort of just changing the direction of where your centre circle is so that each time you do your lines round it, you're actually just getting concentrically bigger. Like that. So it, it works there, it works here. I'm really enjoying this because it's a simple line doodle that I can get straight on with and I'm not worry too much about making mistakes because a lot of the time these sort of things they look better if you do them as you go and i'm not going to spend a huge amount of time today um because it's it's really difficult um to chill and relax um if i spend all day doing this which makes sense and i am going to get to my crochet because i need a break now um I need a break. I need. I didn't realise how stressed I was about this test, but I know it's. I know it's negative, but it's bloody waiting. Excuse my language. Blooming waiting. It's really difficult because you're like you're on edge. Well, I was. I'm just thinking, oh, why is it late? And then they apologised about all oh, the backlog, and I'm like, backlog. Oh, that's even better. Cheers. And then, but you know, it's done and dusted with now. But that's not the point, is it? Anyway, I'm not talking about that could have filled me i just really i'm happy to sit here and do a little bit of, um i don't know what to call this it's not a it's not um it is a moodle it's a mindful art but it, it's more of a um like a key or maybe an idea sorry my pen will run out maybe an idea for you know future designs or patterns anything like that and i think you know maybe doing a, a, a moodle da, a dictionary a moodle dictionary a mo dictionary moodle moodle dictionary no moodle dictionary no that's weird a mole A more addiction no that sounds like some sort of addiction doesn't it right here rather than if you're a bit unsure about drawing your whatever shape this is just draw circles there and then join them but it does to me it doesn't really matter i'm not really worried so draw that one i'm just going to take my time i want the circles to sort of fit these were very cagey, scruffy. Um, I've got so many comments. It just uh, it makes me howl with laughter that um, the amount of people who said to me yesterday and today, um, "Oh, you did it again," and I'm like, "Did what again? You pulled it off. You just did a load of blobs." And then it turned out all right. Well, that's what art is, a load of blobs. You know, with the flowers yesterday, it's quite funny. I know what people do, they go, oh, look at this, it's a right mess. Wait, just hang on, just hang on. Have faith. And that's about, that. that's very true of, of how we are with each other's work. We, we sort of always allow other people but never ourselves sort of um, leeway. We always think, oh, theirs is so much better, including me, I always do. But it's like, oh, just have faith, just carry on doing it and you'll be surprised what the outcome will be. You just need to have faith and don't stop. If you stop, then it's always going to be the same, isn't it? If you carry on, it will improve because you already don't like it. So... 
just putting these I'm using a number two pen I've used all my other ones so I'm having to sort of resort to uh, not resort that's so because these are as good these are as good as good um, pens these uni uni pen uni pens yeah so I've more or less done oh no this one so if you've got your little um oh I like that hello Malcolm oh I hope it goes all right I test they say keep your eye open and they're squirting it, don't they? And you're like, how can I keep my eye open? How can you keep your eye open when people are squirting in your eye? Right, so just going to put in some of the bigger shapes that I can see before I take off the pencil marks. Some have got more detail than others, but it's not a problem. It's not something I'm, I'm too worried about at the moment. I just want to get details down. If I don't reply to comments, it's because I'm not reading them. I tend to not read them when I'm doing this. I tend to just concentrate on this. So um, if, if you don't get an answer, it's not because I'm being ignorant. It's just that I've not seen it because I'm, I'm working on this. Right, so we've got the majority of the lines done now, you can see. I'm just going to go in now with a, a few of the inner shapes. So we've got a circle and a square. And then it will become a little bit clearer once I start to rub out the uh, pencil lines. You see now these shapes, I've not even thought about using these shapes. So to me, this is a perfect little like key or idea for having all your moodles on. I don't like the edge of that, but I think it'll look better once um once I get some rubbers on that so it cleans it up so here what I've done is I've just bisected the line so I'll put a square in it rather than going circle square but I really like this so because we've got all these circles here what I'm going to do is the same I'm going to do a sort of oblongy shape and then dissect it that way so we've got that and then I can do the really like that okay so here I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it like that and then we've got the sections there which looks much nicer than what I originally did. So now I'm going to rub out the tatty lines. Oh, here we've got, what was that other one I did that I really liked? We've got this one here, that one, that one there. Oh no, it's on the same line, so let's do something else. Uh, maybe. Change it up like that. There we go. We'll do diamonds in a minute. Now using a rubber. This is a piece of card actually. It's not watercolour card. It's card and um, I'm pretty certain this is some of the last of my paper. My favourite stuff from Clarity. I love this stuff. Um, it's a great shape. I love the shape. I love the fact that it really is a good weight and it's great for drawing on. Um, it's quite absorbent for watercolour. But that's not a bad thing sometimes if you want vibrant colours on. But if you've managed to get what we was doing yesterday, those watercolours, absolutely, you'll, you'll love them. You'll love them. Make sure you're using the, the correct paper for purpose, fit for purpose, or whatever it's called. The, the appropriate materials and like products and anything. Once you're using it fit for purpose and fit for for the job that you're going to do then you'll realise that it's not you doing wrong it's them
all right, that's good, Karen. Not heard of that one. Sorry, I was just reading about sending old cartridges back. That's a really good idea. And then you're not messing about, are you, with all that messing? <laughs> right, okay, so we've got a fair few different designs, and we'll go through each one step by step. And I like the idea of the circle being a main part. So if I'm just to say that we'll keep, I'm going to keep all small circles small, so that I'll work through the whole design, because I know that I like that shape. I do like that shape, so I'm quite happy to keep that. Um, now, I love these shapes as well, but I'm, I'm quite conscious that they don't all have to be. Oh, I like that. I love that. So, sorry, I've cut my finger. So, I've got like rounded oblongs and stuff, which I really like the idea of. It's, it's almost, I like the idea of changing. Um, corners and just just changing that corner completely changes the look of the actual shape like here it really it does really simplify the shape but it makes it really nice and this one's not quite as round as that so has a big difference as well so I did some um I'm just going to do it here where I did the lines so I'm going to do three lines four lines five lines here I'm going to do a line there a line a line there there so we're changing direction you see each one so here I don't want to do it there because if I do it there I'm going to join it and I don't want to join it. There we go. Oh, that's like a 1980s. It's like a, one of them. Um, you remember when it used to be like the kids' programs and it used to go, ooh, ooh. Not, maybe not that nice, but you know, the. Um, the kids like you are very sleepy <laughs> sorry right so we've got that pattern where it's getting smaller and smaller and then we can sort of do it the same but have it really small on that side um let's go for a pattern that's quite it's sort of along those lines but we're trying to make that different by adding shapes to it so here made it into a flower shape don't have to you can make this into anything you want and then by changing direction with stuff it will start to make patterns look very different like this I'm well around in the corner now so that it's got um, more of a, a softer shape softer shape so here And the way to do this is quite simple. You just put your centre line, uh, sorry, your centre shape, I'll do it there, put one in and then put one round it. If it's hitting behind something else, you you move it so it's in and out, in and out. Here, looks like a pair of glasses, this. I'm just going to put, oh, look at that. Straight away, we've got a box. So what I might do is just do that doodle. So we've got that shape that's quite nice that so let's look at this so here we've got that there and one in the middle then we can put our little I'm sort of leaving these out at a, a more organized space in but you can do them however you want and I'm just going to make 
the lines that I've used for the dandelion fingers, whatever you call them, I've just used them here and then so I'm doing the same shape, which is a line with a circle, but I'm just changing where I've put them. You get me? Can I show you? you? See? You've got the line and the circle, but here I've done the line and the circle. So it just shows you how I'm moving the shape around or in the order in which you do something can really change it. So here let's look at what we've got around it. Okay, I quite like the idea of little circles of course then leave that shape no don't try not to make your circles too big because i'm a swine for doing that leave that one and then oh so you've got polka dot no polka dot there we go you see so polka dot clear polka dot okay here we've got a line here so i could do that that i did over there which I quite like okay so it's like a square i'll, I'll do that up there so if i put color in there hopefully it look three-dimensional um then here i'm just going to do shapes like so it's like a sun blaze i suppose um i really like that shape i think it worked nice on this one so here i'm just doing lines that radiate out what i'm going to do is do them like that and then come back to them and do two one there i'll make that into three two and make that into one so we've got another one there we could even put smaller versions of that there like little mini blocks you get me same same thing again but this time different size and width changes the pattern here let's look at this one what are we going to put in here well i like the idea of oh could do with that one there let's put another one there there we go i made a right cod's wallop of that so time to rectify it so what you do is you put your initial ones in there up to your point And then I think I'll just put one there. And then the difference between the shapes and the sizes won't be so apparent because they're all sort of wibbledy wobbledy. Right here I'm just going to put different So I'm calling on everything that I've done and just putting it in here. So there I've got threes and bubbles and bobbles and circles. So I've got like a quite a nice um, sort of uh, collection of. Here I'm doing threes and ones. There we go. So, and in this one, I think I'll just do three little lines. So here we've got this. We could add colour there. I think it'd be quite nice to add three where we can, maybe even five. Like that. So we've got random, not all of them. Get me? quite nice that with little circles if you did that in the in gold and silver pen it'll look really cool here again the lines in there and i think they just fill really well the idea of height and stuff here Oh, 
we'll do dingle dangles like that and make it into a pattern it looks like rain on a roof doesn't it <laughs> so here again dingle dangles so it's the circle part towards it it so I've got all there and then I'll just put a point on each corner just to make it match up and if you can't fit it on it don't matter so we've done this one this one this one now if you want to do anything no I don't do anything in background because I'm a swine for that and I just tend to have to oh put something in background no we don't have to so here I'm going to sort of do the direction and each time you use it, that shape, it becomes slightly exaggerated like that. So it's similar to that, but it's only it's exaggerated there. But you don't have, please don't think you have to get these right. You don't. It's just we're noodling, doodling, and we're just we're just enjoying it. Um, so we've got like three there. If we just have one, two, three, and maybe one, two, three there. And then here, I don't, I've made a right cut wallet with that line. So anywhere I've gone over, I'm using my line as a sort of butterfly. So let's look at this one now. We can see it like that. Or we see it like that so i think the, the, the first look out is i think i quite like the shape here of just so this is halfway between each one each time like scales and they fit wherever they fit but i don't need to do them all now you can do if you want but i don't want to I think I'll have um, a section off like that so that this is another shape so we've got that there and again like that and then really tiny ones in between we've got the pattern around here so a little squares So if you look at some of these, I might need little squares on these. So again, in the in the space of three, but you don't have to do them really big. So you might have them here. So it's the same as the circles, but the squares. So if I look at these now, I can add them. And I think just using different different um, widths and weights and heights of lines changes your work very, very, very much because it takes your eyes off what would be something that they concentrate and moves them onto somewhere else. So I think that's really, I think we need to maybe remember that when we're doing work because sometimes you think it's ruined and we just put a couple of lines on somewhere else and it completely changes it so don't don't um you don't stress i don't want people stressing too much so i'm looking at all that now we've done a lot of work there wow that's good jane hi mo Brilliant. Thanks, Karen. I will do. So we've got a lot of pattern, a lot of textures. I really like this. It's really nice. You can do all sorts of colours with it. I could use all my inks that I've got, my watercolours, my pencils on top. Um, I don't know. I'm looking at that and I can just see my sewing machine. I haven't got a clue why. Don't even ask me why. I just can see could just see 
a single box sewing machine weird i am weird i know that i know so here we've got this we've got this and we've got this looking at the so it only makes sense that in the other one i do that but maybe change it a bit so if i do them smaller but bigger i've had to wait parcels right and I've only got the kitchen cupboard, kitchen, you know, weighing scales. So I'm there. So Mark's got these all singing, dancing, tap dancing scales. That are for, and I never go on, on a, never, never. Why would I want to know how much you weigh? Gee whiz. God, I have depression. You know what I mean? I don't want it to, I don't want to be sent over looking at my weight as well. So I've just got them down now. And the button that says off I pressed it and it came on which is good and then I thought right so I put the parcels on it and it comes in pounds so I thought if I start messing about trying to work out how to get this from pounds to kilos it's going to end up needing to go back to the shop and it's about 20 years old so it can't so I thought oh, I'm just leaving it like so I went on the internet I'm just hoping that what the number was I saw is actually a weight. Because if I've put down, because it does all this water and body max index and body index max whatever. And I'm hoping that whatever weight I've put on there now. Because um, I, I couldn't go out when I was doing it um, to, to post my parcels. I had to do it online and get a... And get a, a, a and do you know what? It's tab dog. I have tried for three days to get while I've been like waiting for my results last week, this week, this all this week, sorry, waiting for TNT to verify my details to get an account. Can I? Can I help? So I've had to go with another company. I've had to go with the other one, DPD. That was five minutes. But I'm just hoping that the way of putting is right. But anyway, we'll see. But it says we can give you an hour slot. Yeah. Maybe you have to pay more. But it was already so expensive. So I've got to wait in all day like I go out anyway. But yeah, it was so difficult. You'd think they'd want your company. Um, company. They'd want your, comp uh, your, your work. Company. Company. What's the word I'm looking for? Your doodads. But yeah. T oh. Can't verify, I don't exist. Right, okay. You know, I'm sat there thinking, yeah, I really, really, really wish you don't, didn't exist. So, but, so dear. And then it says, like, they'll let you know that when, when, when you're going to get picked up. And then I got this email saying, oh, between the hours of. And then it went off the email. And then I got a text saying, nine and five and i thought R ridiculous ridiculous probably custom you're right probably emma um so yeah so i've just had one of them days this morning and i thought oh well i've had a few hours off <laughs> yeah right anyway so i'm quite happy with this now quite happy I hope you have a, a nice day today, Julia. Julia. Julia's on telly. I hope you have a nice day today. Marcia, for your birthday. And you can get what... You, I think you've read, I've read that you said that you've got um, the ABM out by Marlene's collection. Brilliant. Brilliant. For your birthday. That's superb. So... Yeah, I hope you have a nice day, Marcia. Right. Oh, I've done it, Anna. I knew I'd do it. There we go. Okay, so... We've got big circles there, which I didn't want to do, but I have. Oh, gee, I'm my own worst enemy. Here, what you can do with these is just put little simple lines because sometimes 
I over complicate it. Not that I'm trying to, it's just to get carried away. And I know a lot of people have the same experience, you know, rather than just concentrate on um, using what you've got, I tend to add and add and add. And before you know it, you're like, oh, why did you do that? I know we're all guilty of it. But I'm just putting X's in here only because it sort of reminds me of cross stitch. And I really like that effect. Hatching and cross hatching. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the shows with the watercolour because it's really difficult trying to come up with all this new stuff. But the um, the one at the end was like a really simple one where I just showed you little bits of how to go in colouring in. Yes, Dawn, I agree. I, I agree, it'd be rude not to let things drop into your basket, wouldn't it? So, right, we've got that. Actually, we've done a lot in an hour. We've got a really good little keypad here. Keypad, key. Key, paper, key, whatever. It does, that's the problem. That is the problem with a lot of them, isn't it? You want this, you want that. And then you think, well, why don't I just get that? Because you just might as well, might as well get the old thing. I, I totally agree with you. By the time you've, you've added a bit here and a bit there, before you know it, you, you, you might as well have bought the lot. But yeah, everybody's, um, you know, everybody likes their own things, don't they? But it's, you know, it is a popular range, it really is popular, very, very popular. Right, oh. Excuse me one minute while I get a, an egg cup or something. Egg cup? Egg cup? I don't need an egg cup. I need a water pot. How's this? Oh, I know why. Oh, you The one I have my tablets in. Then I can use that. It's a pipe pot, a water pipe pot. Right, okay. I've got the Jane Davenport because I'm upstairs and um, I'm not downstairs obviously so I'm on the landing and what I want to do is do some little bits of colour but not too much so I've not got my water spray so I'm just it sounds like I'm just trying to make music doesn't it not very good music anyway and I've wet my pad my, ah, I've wet my paints got my paints ready I found it, my magnet. There we go, put it on there. Right, so I'm going to pick some background colours. I've got a range of brushes. This is a great brush. I got this with the graphite. Um, and this was this is called a dagger brush and it's brilliant. It's got a round edge, it comes to a great point, and um, one's damp. You, it's brilliant. So I'm gonna break that glass. Can you see? You get a absolutely amazing line i'll just show you so um it's great drawing sort of brush so if you want to sort of keep um the line straight this is perfect it's also very good for eyeliner so it's great for lines but it's not great for not bad for circles but I would say that it's better for your lines <laughs> you can use it because the edges are all brushes are made to use for different stuff so you can use it for whatever you want but you can see you've got a greater cutting in edge that I picked the, the hardest shape to use for this brush but never mind but it wouldn't be the same if it made, it made it easy for myself, would it? So I've got a bit of a dark blue there. I didn't even know it was dark blue, honest. I really didn't know. I really did not know it was a dark blue. So I can't, you know, can't say, well, it's blue, innit? I've got to do it. So you can see how easy you can use this dagger brush. You can pull away or push towards you and then... 
You only need a few good brushes like your mop brush, um, a dagger brush or a graphite brush. Um, they're not always called graphite brushes, I must admit. Um, they are called daggers though, because I know the SAA do them. I've got some there. Um, if people want to know where to buy them, let me know and I'll send out some links for you. Um, there we go. You can see how nicely it is. Just very nice. So let's look at somewhere else where it's not going to be too difficult. So I'm just going to do three or four blue backgrounds and then that way it's keeping in with the colours and because um, I know what happens we tend to well I know what I do and I tend to have the favourites I go to my favourites at first and then before I know it I've already got like two squares left for about six colours so if I just stick, stick to three at, at the beginning I know I've got more room for others. Now I'm using the colours off the lid so they're not a pure colour. What I mean by that is I'm using this here so this isn't, it won't be a pure colour. Um, it'll be one that I've sort of mixed with a bit of green and stuff. Because I like doing that, I like um, adding my own bit to it. Making it slightly different. I like adding, um, oh excuse me, that was my tummy by the way, nothing else. Right, right so I've got that, so clean your brush, not on your pyjamas like me. Well we're not pyjamas actually, although they're, they're like, um, they're like loungewear. I suppose in Victorian times it'd be a smoking jacket, but I don't smoke, so. You can tell straight away it's not watercolour card this, but I'm not too worried about that because I just want to get colour down. You could do a couple of these and have these as really accessible. Um, I've got some orange in with this now, which is nice. Um, you know, like you have a key. You know, like, sorry, move it up a bit. Um, you know, like you have a key on, on, on a map or anything. You could use this the same way. So, uh, you could do, like, lots of designs like this. So, it's, I'll put the blue in with that. So, let's get a bit more red in it. Oh, wrong red, never mind. Oh, Marcia, I hope, uh, if you can't do Sundays, don't worry. You can watch it any time for your birthday, can't you? So I just thought it'd be nice for your birthday to watch it at your leisure. And for everything that you do as well, because you're brilliant, you and Andrew. And Liz and Rachel. Caroline, Tamara. You're very good, very good at what you do. Right, so I've got this red. I'm using all sorts of reds together. I've got a magenta now, and I'm just putting a little bit of magenta on there. Um, I need it over here now just to compensate because I've got a lot of colour in one spot. So, yeah, the colour class on Sunday, um, it is about layering, but it's also about colour and transference of colour, um, transparencies, glazes, uh, how you can sort of add depth and tone to your work using all sorts of different products you've got. I did want to make a, a, a very um, sort of logistically it's going to be a nightmare because it's got a lot of drying time but um, I wanted to do something where I could do the 
the lots and layers with the gels and stuff so with that in mind I've, I've mentioned to everybody it's going to be a little bit difficult to do it all at once so I'll have to do a follow up um, but you get the idea even if you can't get it all done but it might be an idea if you do join in on Sunday that if you're worried then just watch it first and then you don't need to sort of worry yourself about having all the stuff ready or whatever or if you haven't got the stuff you don't have to go out and buy it because you might not want to so I'm very conscious of that as well you don't have to so I'm just adding the dark reds now which we've got hey thank you Marcia so I'm going in with a little bit of purple and I'll do this bit here I think inside They have been very, very successful, the uh, colour classes, because I've done a set of three. Um, so it, it, they're all standalone, however you can. You know, like lots of people have, I've got all three of them. But, you know, it's not bad that thinking that you've got like three, two, three, six, say about nine hours of tuition. Um, for 30 quid that's not bad at all and it's good tuition and I'm, I'm you know I'm low <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed to say but it is good it's not like I'm, I'm not without being rude to anyone else because I'm not interested in trying to do that but um it, it's it's like, it's like teaching. It, I'm not showing you how to do one thing and one thing only. I'm showing you how to do a range of things that you can do and add to your own work so that if you've got um, work that you're going to use colour on, you can use all the skills that you, you, you get from my lessons on it. You know, um, there are a lot of workshops like some of mine where I've got a project in mind and you do the project. Well, this is a little bit different because this is where you sort of learn the skills involved and then do your own thing with all the skills. And hopefully it makes you sort of reflect your own practice, your art practice, your craft practice, your journaling. And it makes you think, oh, right, I could do that with it. Oh, I'm going to use this colour with this colour because... And that's that's where I come in. Not, um, oh, I've got to put this on here, but, oh, this goes on here because, and I think that's more important to me anyway than trying to, like, exactly copy what I do because you might not want to. Right here, I've got to put yellow. It's got to be done. It looks like it, so don't fight it. Don't fight it, she said, if it looks like it. There's another one here. It's almost like factories and... Tell me who this is. This is the lovely Frida Carlo inspiring me with her work. Because she did a lot and it shows you the um, Ford factory and all that. Just shows you, don't it? How it really sort of without you knowing inspires you right so got that I think I'll put a bit more in because this looks like one doesn't it I had some I had a really nice time uh, doing the pent out one because the products were lovely and at 20 odd quid two quid each I was like what seriously and then that one they had um, oh what was it the one before that Oh, the Talons one where it had the, that was, that was daft, it had the, um, what was it? It had the sketchbook and something else and I was like, are you sure that that's right? I'm sure that's not right. But, hey, I don't, it's not me, is it? I'm adding a little bit more red to this because I, I want it to be a good cross between those two and at the moment it's leaning towards... Uh, let's see now. That's better. That's better. So what I've done here is I've used the warm red and the yellow and I've got a really burnt orange. Really burnt. 
And then when you've got time, you can even trace these and do all different colours. And then what that does is that shows you what they're going to look like in different colour combinations because that will change it completely using, um, you know, where I've got orange here now, using that black there would look totally different to me using orange. So, and also the when I'm going over here with these colours, this actually makes you aware of what the colours would look like together. So here we've got the blue and the orange and you've got this wonderful colour happening. So that's another good idea as well. So I've just added some water to it now and you can see how it's it, it's become more of a, not transparent as such, but it's I've added a little bit more yellow and a little bit, ah, that's better. A little bit more red, a little bit more yellow and it's it's got a bit more body to it now. See, the problem is when you're using water, watercolour is great, but if you want depth of colour, you have to do it in layers because if you put it on all at once, you've got um, a chance of it um, grade, grade, gradiating, no, granulating, granulating, and that means where it, it creates like images, like little tiny, almost like under a microscope or cauliflowers, as I say, which... I don't suppose that's right, but never mind. Um, so layers is the way to go. So wash is more water. Layers and depth is when you have to wait because don't forget watercolour. It's easily, easily sort of manipulated and reactivated. So you've got to be a bit careful with that. So I've got a couple of shapes left. Oh, sorry. I'm going to look at the colours I've got. I've got no green, so it's got to be green. And I'm going to do... I've got a circle shape there, so I think I'll do a green circle. And this is a, a nice green. It's a... Like a bluey green. I'm going to change my brush a bit, because I'm having problems seeing at the moment, so it's a bit difficult to... Ah, oh, that's better. It's only because I've been doing that much close-up work, I need to put my specs on, and I've not had my specs. I found my specs. I found them yesterday when I went out to my car for the first time. Um, and I found them in the where I put my glasses. So it really does have a nice drain. I think I have to, when I look at something now, I have to open my eyes like, like a deer in an headlight. Really, really wide because I can't see. I don't know if anyone else does that. Really difficult to see like that, so I have to open them dead wide or half close them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good, because you don't have to do it. And if you do know, it's annoying, isn't it? Right, so I've got the nice green here put it with the purple because I just like that and then the pattern inside it is going to be really bright I've got one here I can put in again fit for purpose this card although I love it for stamping and it's brilliant it's beautiful card it's not watercolour card so it has a different um, absorbency and although it does absorb some and it does it nice, it's not exactly what I want. So whilst I'm not in any way, shape or form ever going to diss this because I love it, it's just not right for this at the moment. So here I've got a lovely um, teal, one of my favourite colours. And it, this is quite opaque, this one, um, because it's a difficult colour to make. So it ends up having to be quite opaque. But I love it. I love it. This, the golden one, is a, is one of my favourites. Um, I just love it. Just love it. Right, I'm looking at this here to brighten this up next to the orange will really make that pow. And if you're wondering why that happens, if you want to look at some of my colour classes, 
that it, they're on there as well. It tell, it shows you why, um, visually why that works and why it doesn't work because it, it goes through it a little bit better than what I'm doing now. Right, so I've got a teal there. Maybe a teal here. That teal and yellow go beautiful together, don't they? Well, like the teal and orange as well. I'm not having a swift now. Um, I've got it in, in a pint pot, my water, so that's what that's chinking about. It's not me having a swifter. Right, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking I've got one square that needs... And I'm thinking, I can't have orange because it's just... So maybe if I go... Yeah, I think I'll go back to my dark blue because... Um, Yeah, that's it. That the dark blue. It's like a oh, it's a beautiful colour. It's after uh, Prussian blue and a Payne's grey. To me, this is like a mix between two Payne's grey and a Prussian blue. Beautiful colour. So we've got quite a bit of colour going on there, and it's a bit different for me because it looks a bit messy, and I know. Well, I know I normally do messy stuff, but I think this is really different because um, it's it, it's showing you how, how I build it all up rather than just um, nice coloured patterns. I'm, I'm started starting to sort of show you from the base upwards how colour works and shape and pattern. I'll, and this is I'm going to keep a couple of these, and I might keep them on a, a key ring and just. Or cover them with finger plastic so that I can keep referring back to them because I think these will be a really good source of um, I've mixed two here can you see a warm and a, and a cold purple uh, but these will be a really good source of um, inspiration now purple and yellow are complementary so they work really well together So got to do that. So if I look for another yellow to get that colour. There we go. I'm now bringing it into the others. So we've got the yellow. So if I put purple here onto this one. It matches sort of with that. And I'm just going to top that up with a bit of the blue purple because I'll tell you why. I don't want it to be exactly like the the warm purple on the other side. I don't want it to match that. So we've got orange and purple there, yellow and purple. Really, now really, what I should have done is orange and uh, blue. Because orange and blue are the two colours that. work well together opposite sides complementary colours or clashing colours as we say well I say no one else says that I think that's a term that's gone out of the window now they don't say clashing colours maybe it's not PC maybe someone's complained about it I'm going to have to go and have a look at the shed roof in a minute I won't put my wedges on I mean, I've got like reasonable a tire on now so I won't get arrested when I go out there so you've got purple there but rather than purple I'm going to go with a blue so just to give it a because I've gone the opposite way oh too much water um, I've gone the opposite way too much water again so blue blue and then whenever the yellow's bubbled on you'll get a nice green that's nice so what well, like this so we've got red it now the opposite to red it's got is green so if we put a green in and this is a really nice lime green or a 
but it's a very chartreuse lime chartreuse is one of my favorites as well i don't just do black you know in fact black's the last color i ever use it's weird isn't it i never use black but my work it's got to be black it's got a big color but and yet it's only because of that it makes you look slim in a bit that's probably what it's all about so i've got two triangles in the green so i've got the orange and the purple there so i'm, I'm looking for now one that can take a little bit out right if i look at this now i've got the green and the purple so if i put the other green next to it we've now got a range of colors so we've got the complementary but in different shades so you'll see the impact it brings out but then you need a couple of that looks crap that um you do need um let me explain see here this looks absolutely shoddy so if i bring that color in again and just show you having the color more concentrate instead of wishy-washy it's a bit like i showed you yesterday um layering up the color see how that looks miles better than that that looks sho shocking doesn't it shocking there and then put a bit more of the color on see again at the definition it's much better much brighter There we go. Can you see? Looks better that, doesn't it? So I'm going to do the same here. I've got some beautiful pictures I've done doing watercolours. And I know for a fact that many of you would like to see them. No, it sounded big. I did that. Many of you would like perhaps to do stuff like it. So when I get the courage up, I'll uh, put them online and show you. Might do some classes on it. Because watercolours are very easy to do. But it will be, without being rude, landscapes are out like that. It will be something quite different. It will be more to do with um, layers and textures and objects that are yeah you'll be able to see like it might be a big flower on it but it'll be very much contemporary rather than um like a bob ross although he's very good was very good is very good i'm not dissing anybody so there we go so i've got a range of really bright colors and um, the patterns will change it completely it's a little mini mosaic where we've been able to sort of take colors and um sorry take patterns and maybe make them into really good references for f future work i've started to build up but you can see how different it is to work on this sort of card which is great for your work for your stamping that's why i love it perfect for stamping but it, i'm having it's a lot harder for me to make something look nice on this so without being rude it'd be a lot harder for you to do it as well and i don't think that that's always going to be a good thing for your your um for your um oh come on with us confidence confidence your confidence will let allow if you think oh i can't do it and it's not your ability it's the fact that you're not using the right mediums or products you know i've been doing this um over 30 years now so i'm never going to be know any all of it but i certainly know a little bit my one love although i'm not a painter my one love has always been paint and texture 
Can you see how that building that up now? Right. Now we can look at the difference. If we look at the weight of colour in that one, it looks really messy and, and not nice. That's different from blending. If I'm to blend that on watercolour, then I would put more in and then blend it. But you see this paper isn't making it easy because it's not fit for purpose. It's fit for another purpose, although it is very good. I want to get that across. So hopefully you're going to go away now and do a bit more on this. Um, and you put some colour in it. I, I mean, it's all wet now, so I'm trying to find, you know, you can put your, your own little, I'm going to kill my pen doing it. So just by doing simple lines on colours, you're now creating a lovely sort of pattern in it and you're drawing your attention away from the from the lines. Let's see if my other one will go over it. Um, and then what I can do is see this line and then We go, we go, we go. There we go. I'll show you now. Can you see? It's changed it completely. It doesn't look as messy. You know, I can make the pattern. Now, see, it was a crappy line, but now it doesn't look crappy anymore because I've, I've gone over it. So here we can put in a white pen or a black pen or whatever you want, but here we can do our scalloped edge. If you look at one scalloped edge in comparison to the other, big difference. So this is what it's about. Get the colour down, get your pencil colours ready for when you finish this add your detail and before you know it you're like oh yeah i get it now and you've got all these wonderful little i'm not going to do any more all these wonderful patterns as an arsenal for all your um lovely designs and you could even cut these out and make a mosaic out of them or a, a little three-dimensional um card like a twin sheet or something if you did them in two inch squares so i'm going to love you leave you um i'm going to see you what day is it tomorrow yeah I, I mean all day tomorrow and then it's friday tomorrow and then saturday i'm off saturday i'm gonna have a day off on saturday um because we've got to go out and get some work done and sunday it's my live workshop so i will see you tomorrow bright and breezy bring your stuff if you finish this today or tomorrow, let's see what it looks like. If you want to go over to the Mindful Moodling um, on my website, which is building up nicely, I'll be very happy for you to just put in it's lewitherswixsite.com or something. I don't know, but it's the Wix site. If you put in Lou Withers, you'll come across me somewhere. I'm sure Marcia will help me out at some point and put my website on. But I'm building that nicely. And I'm hoping to transfer a lot of this over there so that it's a special place. Special! Anyway, love you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Where's the door?